Hey, it's Amanda again, doing my second Facebook Live. <laughs> What's going on? I, um, I've just finished doing another Facebook Live, but I had a thought come to me that I really wanted to share. I'm finding the more videos that I'm doing, the more inspiration is coming through, and I don't share a lot of it, and I'm gonna start doing that more, because a lot of it's gold. Well, I find it's gold. <laughs> and I hold back, and I don't wanna do that. I wanna share all of me, I guess, with anyone who wants to listen, because for me, Home organising is not about just being neat and tidy, but making life easier and effortless and more joyful. And what came through this morning was, I guess I was reflecting a bit on how simple my life is now. And looking back on where I've come from to where I am and how, how wonderful it is, I just had this immense sense of gratitude. And one of the things I was kind of thinking about was how overwhelming it used to be and how crap it used to feel and how frustrated I used to feel. Um, and what I did to sort of change those feelings of overwhelm. And this was a practice that took a bit of time because I really didn't know what to do when I was in amongst the crap. <laughs> when you're living in the chaos, you're kind of just trying to keep your head above water. But I finally got to a point where I started to appreciate the little things. And a connection that came through for me was the fact that I live in a, a modern world with all the modern conveniences and I'm still struggling. And yet, only three generations ago, my great-grandmother, who I never met, but I seem to have this connection with her for some reason. My great-grandmother had 13 children and she had no washing machine and no microwave, none of the modern conveniences that I have that make, should make my life a lot easier. And so in those moments of overwhelm, I often reflect back on that and go, you know what? I should be more grateful because I have it easier. I have more choices. She didn't have a choice about how many children she had. Contraception wasn't a thing back then. Um, my life is very conscious and, I'm, and I make these choices for myself. So in those moments, I do, I like to think of the women who have come before us, who have done it a lot harder um, and, and still got on with it. Now, I'm not saying that they were completely happy the whole time, but it really is inspiring to think back of, of how much work they actually had to go through to get through their day. For example, and I've heard, these are stories I've heard from my mum. One of the things I love about my family is they talk a lot about the family and the history and where we've come from. And my mum has these wonderful memories of her grandmother, so my great grandmother, of how she used to wake up super early and create this hot breakfast for her whole family. <laughs> 13 children, can you imagine? Um, she would, yeah, she had to get up early to get that started because she had to, I don't know, maybe she had one of those wood ovens she had to sort of fire up and get that prep before everyone woke up. And that's, that just seems overwhelming to me to even think of that, but that was just her normal. Um, they also lived on a self-sustaining farm, so grew their own fruit and vegetables and raised their own cattle and they were just self-sufficient and she had to do a lot of that and raise 13 children. Have I said that already? Um, so yeah, I like to, when I'm having a hard day and I'm thinking, oh, woe is me, the washing machine's giving me the shits because it's not doing what it's supposed to do, that kind of pops into my mind a little bit going, you know what, I need to be more grateful uh, because life is a lot easier. And I think we can sometimes take the modern conveniences for granted. And I don't want that for me because it does, it, you know, it just feels better to be more grateful and it's a practice I've introduced into my life daily. I mean, you've probably read it before, gratitude's a really important thing, but having that connection to my, my ancestors is a really wonderful way to connect with that. And I often ask my mum stories or I ask how things used to be. And I, I've also looked at the way the women in my family line have embraced motherhood. So my mother's grandmother, so my great-grandmother, she was a really homely woman, loved to cook, and she was in her element in her home. And she was the inspiration for my mum, who also loved those, those tasks and raising a family and, and creating a home. I didn't get that gene, but then my mother's mother didn't either. So but there's two kind of generations that we didn't sort of fit the mould of a typical mother and wanting to be you know, super mothering and cooking and cleaning and loving all that stuff, but yet we still did it in our own way. And so looking at the different women and how they went about it has been a huge inspiration for me. And I want to be the role model for my children and grandchildren too on how life can be easier and more effortless when we embrace and be grateful for what we have right now. And well, if you can make life easier, why wouldn't you want to do it? We have everything we could possibly need in today's modern world to be able to do that. And so I just want to share that today. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, try not to compare yourself to others uh, which is easy to do with social media, Instagram especially. Everyone is different and unique in their own personalities and their, their skills and their talents, but we can all find a way that works for us when we keep it simple and easy. 
and yeah, have a look back in your family line and consider what life would have been for them and what it would be like if you had to do it the hard way. Because when you look at that, my life is pretty good <laughs> and I'm so very grateful. And uh, yeah, I hope this has helped someone today. I'm gonna be doing more videos like this because I feel, sometimes I just feel like I need to share it and I don't and then I feel like I need to share it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like this, this type of video, if you wanna hear more stories like this because I think as a community to connect and understand that we all struggle at different times and that there's today so much education out there, so many ways to learn better, faster, easier ways of doing things through social media when you follow the right people. Um, that role modeling can happen and makes life so much easier. I'm, in, I'm very grateful for it. <laughs> Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.